What is up, YouTube? It's Hexshot87, and I am bringing you another old firearm. This time we have a Winchester in the house, and this is specifically the model 1873. Um, this one, from what I can tell, was around the late 1890s, early 1900s, somewhere in there. And we're just going to talk about it a little bit, and hopefully, if we can find some ammunition, which is going to be kind of hard, but if we can find some ammunition, we're going to take it out, shoot it, and let you guys see how it functions. But for right now, just a little bit of a history, and just let you look at it. So, as you probably can first tell, um, it's not in the best shape. There's some pitting, some rust. Uh, it's been beat up a little bit, so I'm going to clean it up and... Um, you know, this is the uh, the same guy that let us hold the SA-22 Browning, um, also owns this, this gun, so um, turn it over to the other side, let you look at it there. Um, so, this gun, they were produced from 1873 to 1919, with over 700,000 of them sold, produced, so uh, quite a bit of them, and this is the gun that won the West, or so they call it, so... Um, a lot of models, 1890s, 1866, 1894, you know, just, just a lot of them. But um, this is the gun they say won, won the West. <laughs> so I know there's a lot of debate online and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, um, so this one, this is going to be kind of hard to see. And I will take some pictures just so you can get a better close-up of the uh, stamping. But right in here, it says 32 WCF. So that is, uh, you know, 32 Winchester center fire, 3220, and there's your model number right there, 1873. Now they originally, uh, the original caliber for the gun was 4440, uh, which was extremely popular. Then they went with 3840 and 3220, uh, which the calibers coincided with your uh, sidearm. Uh, those were popular sidearm calibers as well. So you had your sidearm, your carbine version, or your rifle version, like this one is, with one type ammunition. Uh, so that always makes everything pretty easy. It's like having a Glock 23 in today's world with a Chris Vector. Same mag, same ammo, uh, pretty neat. They did some special grades of this gun. Uh, they made some that were labeled 1 out of 1,000 and 1 out of 100. And what they did, I'll let you look down the sights here while I'm talking about this, is when they were uh, testing the, the rifles for accuracy, if they had one that was in particular really tight groups, they would put it with a set trigger and they would call that one out of 1,000. And the um, the ones that were even better in accuracy, they would call one out of 100. So, And Universal Studios actually put out a thing, um, I think this was after the movie was made, Winchester 73, that they actually put it in uh, sporting goods stores, like posters, and uh, tried to reach out to find some of those, those special rifles. So... If you have one that's labeled 1 out of 1,000 or 1 out of 100, you have got a uh, special little rifle you need to take and get in a praise because they're pretty uh, pretty special. But Anyways, let me flip this around here and show you the barrel, which is pretty neat. I'm going to actually get down right here. Uh, as you can see, is a octagon barrel. It's not your standard round barrel, so that's pretty neat. Um, like I said, in 2013, they started producing these things again by FN, I believe, actually. And they come with the standard round barrel, but this one has the octagon. Uh, here is where your rounds feed through. Here's your tube that runs the length of the uh, barrel. And up top here, this one, I, I like I said, needs a little bit of work. This is kind of hard to... Uh, to work the lever but when you uh, put your lever down you have a dust cover that's supposed to pop open like that so yeah like I said this one needs a little bit of work but uh, 
it is still functional nonetheless. Um, as you can see there, your uh, feeding ramps are brass and And like I said, the gun has been safety checked. I can't find ammo for it, so you don't have to worry about that too much. <laughs> the uh, underside there is brass, and it actually says, I'll take a picture of it, but it actually says 32 cal. So, uh, right here you have a lever stop, so it just locks the lever out. You have a very tall, exposed hammer there. You have a safety notch. And uh, the newer ones obviously come with firing pin blocks and, and that kind of thing. So um, I was looking for the model number because, you know, like I said, you have the 1866, the 1873, 1864, blah, 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 blah. I'm looking for the model number and there's some uh, stamping up top here that I'll take a picture of and show you because you won't be able to see it right now. But I'm looking for the model number and I can't find it. So I look online, start doing some research and... I'm like, oh, I think it might be an 18, whatever. Well, the model number's back here. So, <laughs> uh, right there in front of my face the whole time. You can see the uh, stock there. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the, 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 the cartridge in general was, was actually used for deer hunting back in the day, which we kind of, we, you know, we find it's kind of light now, you know. Nobody would ever use that now, but for a small game, uh, definitely effective because apparently the 3220 um, has a tendency not to destroy meat so um, very you know low power round so uh, but nonetheless very awesome gun now you know you do have the 18 what is it the 1894 which those have uh, sold over 7 million rifles which is crazy crazy these things are crazy popular um even if you're not a gun person if you've seen one of these you either think henry or winchester you know something like that so all right so like i was saying before this is the uh, rifle version 24 inch barrel they made carbine versions with the 20 inch barrel and a very small percentage of them were actually all right sorry about that apparently uh if you don't charge the battery to your camera they won't work I'm not sure why, but we'll figure it out. Anyways, guys, if you buy one of these new ones now, they're going to come with the 20-inch uh, barrel, the round barrel. Uh, the new ones are chambered in 357 Magnum. Of course, you can shoot 38 Special. So, like I said, guys, there's a lot of history on this thing, and I'm hoping and praying that we can get some uh, 3220 ammunition to uh, show you guys and uh, shoot some targets with and show you how it functions, get it cleaned up. I'm not a gunsmith. I'm not going to ruin the rifle. I'm just going to clean it and try to get some of the rust off and make it a, um, a little bit, you know, easier functioning, I guess you can say. So, one last look here. And like I said, I'm going to take some pictures throughout the video. You'll see some pictures here. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to uh, subscribe and leave me a comment below. What is your favorite lever action gun? And uh, that'll let me know that you uh, you watched all the way to the end. And I appreciate all the support. Uh, we will see you next time. Hold them down.